God bless you. I'm just uh, taking a ride right now. I had to take care of a couple of things early. Bless the business. Both of them is doing good this morning. This is Monday, what that preacher called it, Attitude Monday. Uh, and it's so, so serious what he was preaching. He was saying about soul ties and as a person trying to do well, I'm just riding in. I don't have a lot, got a little money, vehicle or two. And I'm just thinking about how it's so true about it don't matter how how saved you are, how long you've been going to church, how long you've been dealing with God, and how much you pray and fast and stay away from chaos and negative people and always trying to help people. The flesh is always willing to do wrong. You have to remember that. The flesh, your flesh never gets saved. You have to save it. You have to, in other words, guard your soul. That's what we've been talking about or, or that pastor been talking about soul ties and it's so true because I'm right now thinking about what could I do today? I could go shop. I could go buy a pair of shoes. I could get the car detail. I could, I could do fine, positive things to do. But I, what about some trouble, though? What about to go into the casino and three or four babes up there in the room with you? You know what I mean? And you know, all them drinks and stuff. And y'all kicking it back and forth, you know. That's the that's them soul ties that's still attached to you. It don't matter how saved you get, you still have them going on in your life, and you have to incarcerate them. You have to say you're guilty, or at least put it on house arrest. It's, it's nothing wrong, you know. If you if you have a, a, a negative thought and you bring yourself back, it's nothing wrong with that. You're you're your own inner being. Your inner being is the same person that you said. Hmm. You know, and you said, hmm, do I have any butter at home? Mm, I gotta make a cake. I gotta, mm, do I have any butter? I ain't sure. Yeah, I do. So that's you talking to who? Your inner being. You go in the mirror and say, ooh, you sharp this morning. Come on, talk back to me. That's your inner being. But I'm just here to let you know in these few minutes that it is so true that the devil is waiting on your porch for you. It don't matter how you spoke in tongues, it don't matter how you you carried the pastor's briefcase, uh, put the first lady's shoe on, I don't know what you did, but the devil is waiting, he don't never stop, and he don't have a day off, so listen, you guys be blessed out there, and guard your spirit, and I'll talk to you guys soon, be careful.